out of any fad from yesteryear, which one would you lo- most like to see come back? A comic fad? Any fad. Fashion. Hmm. I don't know. Food, sports, whatever. Uh, I kind of want uh, more mullets in comics. Um, <laughs> like the Superman mullet. I feel like that uh, That was really when I kind of like... Um, my, I matured in my understanding of how comics works and the fact that Superman will not always have a mullet. Um, that was like... That was very important for me. Yeah. So more of that would be great. Fins on cars. Fins on the backs of the cars. You know, like the roadsters. Like, yeah, they would have the fins on the back of the cars. You know, like on the old Batmobile and all that, they have the fins. Yeah, fins on cars. Yeah. Why? Because they make the car better. Because they make it go faster. Yeah. I know one, one, one that would go away. I recently moved to Austin. Everyone is trying to dress like bad cosplayers, like bad Han Solo cosplayers. They're all like in shitty shirts and vests and chains, and it's weird, and they look stinky. Uh, they're hipsters, and they're, they're lovable, I guess. Uh, but I wish that one would go away. One that I wish would come back, ooh, what would be cool? You know, I'm an ass man, and I wish girls would wear the, the 80s workout fucking asses and those high, like, low, I'm talking about the strings, like, up over the... Up over like the hip bones, but the the G string like right at their butt, and just two big butt cheeks, like full, not petite, but full, deep, deep butt cheeks. That's that's my that's what I hope would come back. Um, Doritos 3D. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, my wife Takisoma is obsessed with Doritos 3D. She wrote to to Doritos. Um, she sent them emails. She twittered them. Um, they, you know. Something's got to happen, man. Maybe a Kickstarter. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, flapper dancing. I love, like, the flapper time period. Um, there's not too many fads. I mean, fads die for a reason. I don't, <laughs> don't want to see bell bottoms and come back or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, wait, no. Uh, 70s detective mustaches. <laughs> that <is perfect>. uh, <laughs> probably hats. Like, nice, like, bowler hats or top hats, something like that. Uh, I, I read a, a, a journal uh, piece at one point by a guy who said he thought that civility had disappeared with, with uh, haberdasheries. <laughs> and that if, you, uh, if you're walking down the street and you could tip your cap at someone or you took the time to trim your hair in such a way that it would fit nicely under a hat, that it would make That'd people so have nice. some reciprocal kindness. Yeah. It's like, let's, let's, we could try it. You know? <laughs> we should try it. Hula hoops. Oh, wait, they're already back. <laughs> I forgot. Hipsters do that anyway. Um, okay, yo-yos. Yo-yos. Yeah. Pinball is a sport. Did you know pinball was illegal in New York City until the mid-70s? I did know that. One of my favorite dumb facts. I would bring back the fad of uh, books being read by like lots of people and that being like a topic of conversation in the general culture. That would be pretty awesome. It's sad that literacy is a fad. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know what I would like to see come back? Like uh, people uh, overpaying TV writers, like um, big staffs full of writers uh, and that are paid obnoxiously. I'd like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Uh, smoking jackets, let's say. <laughs> this is comfortable. Yeah. yeah it's great. It wouldn't be bustles. <laughs> uh, what is bustles? <laughs> bustles. I don't know what bustles are. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> I'll Google it. Google it. <laughs> yeah, I will. So not bustles. <laughs> not, not bustles. Um, uh, old-timey circus eggs. Ascots. Ascots. Yeah, I have an ascot at home. Um, it's a red one uh, that, I re- that I wear with a linen suit. Mm-hmm. But I still kind of just feel like, uh, like everybody makes fun of Freddy on Scooby-Doo for it. And that, that hurts my heart a little bit. Because you love ascots. Like, because I love ascots. So, yeah, I'd like ascots to come back. All right. That or, like... Um, significant amounts of public nudity <laughs> though i'm told uh uh by the image folks that in berkeley california that's pretty normal oh there you go so apparently need to move to berkeley yeah i know probably me and my assless chaps <laughs> gorilla covers <laughs> gorilla covers and go-go checks yeah i, I like go-go checks I, that's kind of the one i always want to see come back if dc brought back go-go checks i'd read any of their books yeah um I like the Marvel banner across the top. That's a good one too. That's a good Marvel one. Comics group. I think that's a good one. Um, it's I don't not know. Really a fad though. It's not really a fad, yeah. but it doesn't have to be comics. It could be parachute pants if you wanted it to be too. I mean, I would still want it to be gorilla covers. Yeah, jams, I guess. Yeah. 
Track cool. suits. Track suits. Track suits. We've considered matching track suits. Can't wear a cardi with a track suit, though. Well, you could. You could, but you would look weird. Uh, tearaway pants. <laughs> Just because I think tearaway pants are funny. <laughs> uh, the fanny pack. Any particular reason why? Because it goes great. It goes really good with my parachute pants still. <laughs> Wait. Actually, hyper color. Can I change my answer to the hyper color shirts? Yeah. They, they always they would change color with body heat, oh. but, it always, but the body heat would be, always be right here, so you'd always have orange armpits. <laughs> that, we need that to happen. We need that. Please Definitely. make it happen. Hypercolor people. Um, I would like to see uh, more cheesy ads in comic books for like learning kung fu secrets, um, giving sending away for joy buzzers, things like that. What he said. I'm kind of prone to like 70s short shorts, like on the, guys and girls. That's fine either way, but I think they should make a comeback. Yeah. Like multi-pocketed red onesies, <laughs> uh, leg warmers. Like yeah. For men and women? Or yeah, for men. Okay. Yes. Any particular reason why I like warmers? I never got to wear them the first time around. Clocks on backpacks, big clocks. Like flavor flame clocks. Yeah, they used to be in the in the, in the uh, early 90s, late 80s. They had backpacks with big clocks in them. <laughs> and snap and snap bracelets too because from what I recall people were cutting themselves with them. I'd like to see that come back. Yeah. Yeah, and I would like to be able to leave the town and be given a horse with a bag of feed for two days. <laughs> that is a good fat tip for that. All right. How about you, Kurt? What do you got? For uh, I would like to see the whole emo scene come back. Children cutting themselves in shopping malls in front of Hot Topics, listening to Fall Out Boy, uh, long black hair over your face, like crying in public transit. I'm into it. That's a good answer. That is a great answer. I know. I know. Troll dolls, maybe? Oh, God. <laughs> Why? I don't know. They're good luck, weren't they? They're so horrifying. They are so horrifying. But maybe that's, maybe that's what's good about them. Or, like, a lot of... Although DC is bringing back, like, die cut covers and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm too late on that. No, I'll go with troll dolls. Oh. Troll dolls, yeah. Wide, wide skateboards with nose guards. Really? Yeah. And rails. Yeah. Why those ones? They're, heart, they're heartwarming to me. They are? Yeah. 